Pete, it seemed like uh, like you guys got something going toward the end, doing tempo. Um, what is it about that uh, that kind of clears things up? Or, or I think it uh, you know brought a little energy to us, kind of got some things going. I think that um, you know, and you go back to that game and you watch it, and uh, we sustained some drives, but we couldn't finish them. Um, and really, obviously, our third down uh, clearly wasn't good enough. But I think that. Uh, it was a point of a game where it was like, hey, we gotta, we gotta get going. Um, and I thought the players responded well. And I thought that uh, as you look at it, it's, you know, it's not something you can live in, but it's, uh, there's times probably where we'll want to use that. that. That is something that you that you can incorporate earlier in the game, even if it's just for. Yeah, I think that I think. Going. Yeah, I think that. Uh, um, again, obviously, it went well for the for that game, and I think you have to look at, you know, who's your opponent, what are they doing, but I think that. Uh, Again, as we game plan, if there's some weeks where we feel like, hey, hey, whatever, hey, let's, you know, let's go, what do you call it, up tempo or what do you want to call it, and then, um, you know, just being smart with it, though. Yeah. Dean yeah, mentioned that there are some new things that you tried to implement over the course of this week, just from a confidence standpoint for you and, and the offense. How was the impact? Of well, I, I think there's just, uh, there was a lot of communication, a lot of discussion among, um, individuals and just kind of trying to make sure that uh you know we're clear with each other everybody's on the same page i think that um uh i think it's been a great week a lot of energy uh guys are preparing i think that just uh more so just a lot of discussion and saying hey you know what are some of the things that we got to do to keep some of these things from happening you've alluded before to the idea of you know digital simplifying and things like that is that something that y'all have undergone yeah i think that um you know, I, I think that that's always part of it. You look at, hey, start out with the coaches. What are we doing? Um, are we doing too much? And uh, is that causing issues? And then, like, why wasn't a play executed? Or why wasn't a, why was there possibly miscommunication and things like that? But I think that uh, uh, the discussion has been real healthy this week. Is that also kind of a byproduct of going up tempo? You simplify things. I think Derek referred to it as some training camp plays as opposed to. I think basically when you're getting into those types of situations, a lot of time that's your core. Uh, things that uh, you're picking from a menu, maybe potentially on based on what the defense is, but there's a there's a set menu throughout training camp. When you talk about from the coach's standpoint of that you, you said doing too much or, or something along those lines. What's, is there like a simple example of that? Like what, what do you what does that mean? Well, I think that you can look at your um, let's just take the third down. Do we have too many too many plays in, and you know then guys are having to think so much like, hey, what am I doing on this play? What's my split? Uh, so simplifying, whether it's number of calls, maybe the, um, I mean, there could be a lot of things like, hey, yeah, it's, is it the splits that are varying? Is it maybe a ton of motion, shit, all that stuff? I think a lot of that stuff can be simplified. I mean, you say number of calls, is that the number of calls going into the huddle or is that just kind of like the overall menu? I'm talking about maybe like an overall list when you're looking at a particular section of let's just say, hey, you're looking at your drop back list or you're looking at your play action list. Well, do we need this many on the list, let's let's narrow it down to this many and make sure it's the ones that our guys like and love for that game. Hey, what, what do you what do you want to get Derek Carr into that, that takes takes advantage of the best that he's done and the best of his skills? Like where's what do you need to find with him that gets him in I think that uh well obviously the temple stuff was some things that he did well, but I think that um those opportunities for him at the line of scrimmage to to maybe see the coverage, recognize the coverage and be able to uh you know, get us in a, a play that's uh, that we feel good about based on maybe the defense you're seeing. And when we've seen communication issues, or not, I don't know if communication is even the right word, but yeah. the quarterback and the receiver being on different pages, is a lot of that from calls being made at the line of well, scrimmage? Or that's not uh, I think there could be a variety of things. And again, I think it, um, you know, again, it starts with us as coaches making sure that those things aren't happening. If there's going to be some things that come up in the game, uh, making sure that's all uh, – Going into the game, those are things that we've practiced and repped and uh, maybe not just all of a sudden appearing on game day. So the two aren't sort of mutually exclusive. I mean, he can have get us into this or this at the line of scrimmage, and it's not necessarily the same as, as like changing what they're all being asked to do on the play. Cor right? Yeah, correct. So I think that, uh, you know, some part of the discussions this weekend, again, is, is, you know, starting with what are we doing and then making sure that we um, – we're all on the same page, communication, and some of it's, you know, execution assignment as well. So I think that all goes into it. And this is probably oversimplifying, but 
Taysom caught a lot of balls in the middle of the field, but just in general, uh, you know, Michael Thomas slants, Jimmy Graham, period. Like, is it sort of defenses that are taking away the middle of the field, or is that is that something that you guys wish you were Well, I think, I think when we go into the game, obviously we look at those opportunities and those things, and obviously um, when you talk about someone like Jimmy, obviously – uh, he's been a part of the game plans, and then just not maybe some of those plays aren't getting called, and that's uh, you know that that can come back to me and making sure that those opportunities are given to him. Um, so I think that, and there's a lot of guys that we want to get the ball to. Uh, we like it in their hands, but again, I think uh, as you go into a game plan, if it, if if there's something for Mike Thomas or Jimmy that you like, it's all in the game plan. It's just a matter of sometimes getting it called. When it comes to the attack in the middle of the field, what does the Kind of return or potential return of uh, Jawan Johnson. How does that factor in? Yeah, I think that uh, we're excited to have him back out of practice, and uh, I think that he brings an element to the pass game vertically that uh, you know I think that that we like. I think that he does a number of things though, as far as routes. And then again, he's I always feel like his run game block has been underestimated a little bit or not talked about as much. But I think that uh, you know we'll see where he's at for Sunday. But I think that he brings the you know, he brings an element of the passing game that we feel really good about.